Hi, I'm Lee Klarich, Head of Product Management for Palo Alto Networks, and I'm here today to talk about our latest security service called Aperture. Today, many enterprises are dealing with a very new and interesting challenge of, of how to safely enable SaaS applications that are increasingly prevalent on their network. What makes this a unique challenge is that unlike traditional applications where the enterprise owns the application, they own the infrastructure that it's deployed on, and of course they own the data, which gives them a lot of control over how to secure it and how to control access to it. SaaS applications are very different. The enterprise owns the data, but they don't own the application and they don't own the infrastructure that's deployed on. And to be able to secure these sanctioned SaaS applications requires a very different approach. Aperture is able to reach into these SaaS applications, analyze all of the data, and as well as understand how that data is being shared and what permissions exist for accessing that data. And by understanding what data is being shared with whom, we can identify risks to potential information leakage, as well as identify potential security issues within the enterprise. Imagine, for example, using Box or Dropbox as a file sharing and file storage application for an enterprise. Now imagine that sensitive financial documents are being shared internally, but somebody has accidentally set the permissions to share either the document or the folder that it sits in with users outside of your enterprise. Or imagine that somebody has accidentally shared a file that contains malicious code or malware, and that is now propagating through your enterprise by use of one of these SaaS applications. This is the risk of SaaS applications. Not to, make, not to say the SaaS applications are bad, they're actually fantastic, but you have to find a way to safely enable them. That is what Aperture is all about. We leverage a very rich set of APIs that many of these enterprise-focused SaaS applications expose. And by taking this approach, we get a few really critical benefits. There's no change to the user. The user has no change to their experience of using the SaaS application. There's no agent, there's, there's nothing to install, and there's no change of behavior. There's nothing to deploy in the network. This is all done in the cloud using APIs accessing these, these cloud-based SaaS applications. Now, one of the very interesting things about the approach we've taken with Aperture is that we reach into these SaaS applications using very sophisticated APIs that they expose. One of the core benefits of this is it allows us to scan back in time everything that's sitting in the SaaS application. And what we found is that many enterprises adopted this, these applications months ago, years ago, and they don't know what's already there. And so the first step is looking back in time at everything that's already there, and then going forward, continuing to scan and identify new security risks and data risks to the enterprise. Because this is integrated with Health Network's next generation security platform, which means it ties back into wildfire, but it also means it's part of a broader solution. And in this case, our next generation firewall, which is designed to be able to identify and secure all of the unsanctioned SaaS applications being used as well. This is very core to what our next generation firewall does and what has done since it was first launched to the market many years ago. Provide very granular visibility and control of the use of, of all applications, including unsanctioned SaaS applications that many users often just decide to use on their own. So with that, I hope you check out more information about Aperture. Very cool new service from Palo Alto Networks. Mm -hmm.